Greetings and salutations, pipe smoking community. This is my entry to Piper Mick G's 300 sub contest. Congratulations to my dear friend Ronnie on 300 subs. They are well deserved, and if for some strange reason you haven't found him yet, go subscribe to him. I'll put a link for him in the bucket. So he has a list of questions that he wants us to answer. And I believe the first one is... How do you like your eggs? Well, um, it depends on the situation. Uh, sometimes I like my eggs poached if I'm having hash and eggs with my beloved boomtar, which is one of our favorite meals. Um, I like them boiled, uh, especially if I'm going to eat them on a salad or just snack on an egg. I like it boiled. I like them scrambled if I'm cooking for Evan because uh, my mom taught me to make scrambled eggs and my scrambled eggs are quite tasty. They're like hers. And sometimes I like them fried, uh, especially if I have some toast to sop up the juice with. So that's how I like my eggs. Which way is your favorite? Probably poached on hash if I had to pick a favorite. But that's more about the hash than the eggs. Oh, you're just trying to copy me. Yep, that's it. All right, question two. Do you prefer fries, onion rings, tater tots, <clears throat> etc.? That depends on where I'm eating. Because if I'm here at Steak and Shake, I'm going to have cheese fries. Because you got to have cheese fries. I love those things. They're just delicious. If I'm at Frisch's, I have onion rings because I love their onion rings. If I'm at Burger King, I have onion rings because I love their onion rings. McDonald's, of course, you have french fries. Or Wendy's, you have french fries. But it just depends on where I am. What is your favorite bedtime snack? Ice cream. If Ronnie came to your town slash house, where would you take him to eat? Or what meal would you prepare? Well, we have taken him to eat. And we took him to Dixie Chili and La Rosa's Pizzeria. Other than that, I'm not sure. I would probably say let's have sushi because special company requires special food or perhaps maybe like Montgomery Inn, because that's a local thing too, and it's also special. And the fifth and final question, what pipe would you like to acquire this year? You know, I'm not sure about that one at all, because I don't have a specific maker who's on my radar at this point. There are a number of them, because what I look for is specific characteristics that appeal to me, but I have so many of them that there are actually a number of makers that are kind of doing what I am interested in having. So I'm not sure that there is a single pipe maker that even makes what I'd be looking for, but it would be something with lots of angles and curves and silver and purple and natural gemstones like amethyst. Um, it's probably a pipe that only exists in my dreams, and the pipe maker's probably up there too. So I'm really not sure exactly whose pipe I would have to own if money and waiting lists were no object. So, those are my five questions. Well, actually they're Ronnie's five questions. Those are my answers to them. Um, congratulations on the 300 subs. I absolutely adore you and your channel, and, um... I'm looking forward to seeing you today at CAPS. See you guys.